Here's how you use drop form in five minutes. So when you get to your drop form, you'll see this, the drop form dashboard. You have the drop forms you've already created right here, but the first thing you want to do is click on create form. Here you get three choices. You can start from scratch, which will allow you to create everything from um, scratch. Uh, there is the user template, where you have the choice of literally thousands of templates that you can use, meaning you can have a full form or survey created in seconds or import a form where you can quickly import a form from a web page, clone a form you've already created, or import one from a PDF. Let's go back and start from scratch. We then have two choices, classic form and card form. So classic forms look like this. All questions will appear on one page, and they're best if you're intending on embedding your form on a web page or you're just looking to collect some basic information. Card forms look like this. These forms only show one question per screen and are generally better for more traditional surveys as they're more engaging and are better for completing the survey on your phone and we're going to choose card form now this is the form builder page on the left hand side is where you add the different form elements and is where you'll choose the different parts you want to add to your survey the basic menu gives you access to lots of different question types payments allow you to add elements if you want to collect payments on your form and widgets are a selection of more advanced question types to insert a question, we'll go back to the basic menu and drag and drop our first question, which will be name to the center. Then we're gonna add email. Then we're gonna scroll down and choose the drop down question and drag it so that it comes after name. Then we're gonna scroll down further and drag star rating underneath. Now to add the wording, you simply click on the question and write the question you want to ask. If the question has answers the respondent is going to choose from, you also simply need to click where the answers are and then just write them out. Now next to each question you're going to see a trash can which allows you to delete the question quite obviously and a cog that allows you to customise your question even more. How you can customise the question really depends on the question type. There are general customization options that are fairly consistent like making a question required. But then for this drop down question, you can do things like automatically populate the answer list with things like countries, to save you having to type them all out. And for this star rating question, you can see you can do things like changing the stars to hearts and change the number of stars that appear. Now on the right hand side of the page is the form designer where you can choose from a selection of pre-designed color palettes or choose your own colors and font. You can also choose from a selection of image backgrounds or even video backgrounds. And if you change your mind, you can also switch between the classic form style and the card form style that we talked about earlier. Now at the top of the form builder, there is also a broader settings where you can access loads more settings for the form, like naming your form, as well as integrations where you can connect your form to other apps like say Google Sheets we've got here and you can have all your responses automatically populate a Google Sheets spreadsheet. But probably the most powerful thing in settings is the conditions or conditional logic tab. So let's say we only want to get reviews from people who bought the water pistol. Then we go to the show hide field and if the question which product did you buy state is equal to value water pistol do show field star rating. Hit save, and now the star rating question will only show if your respondents say that they bought the water pistol. The last tab at the top is the publish tab, and here you have the option to quick share, where you can get the URL to your form, embed, where you have various options for embedding it in your website, as well as a few other ways to share your survey. Before you share it though, you're gonna to wanna to preview it. And to do this, you simply want to hit the preview form toggle up here, and you'll be able to see your form in exactly the way that your respondents will see it on desktop, tablet, and phone. So if you want to leave your form and return to the main menu, you just simply have to click on a drop form logo. And here you'll see the survey that you just created alongside the other forms that you created before, where you can quickly edit it again or click on inbox to see your results. Now I'm using drop forms free starter plan here, which is pretty amazing given it's free, but it does have its limitations, mainly on the number of forms you can create and the number of submissions you can receive. There is a way to monitor it though. If you go up and hover over your avatar, 
in the top right hand corner, you can see how close you are to hitting the max of these limits. If you do hit the max and you want to keep going, paid plans start at $24 per month. Now Jolt Form is an incredible tool for finding out more about your customers, but it's not the only tool out there. There are some other incredible free tools out there like Google Trends and a few others that can help you to come up with new ideas, find new customers, and lots more. Click on a link on your screen right now to watch a short video about what these tools are and how you can use them. And if you want to get more ideas from this channel in the future, make sure you hit subscribe.